Listen, put down 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. A great, great, great verse. Listen to it. According as His divine power. Don't you love that? His divine power. Boy, we just blow past these words, don't we? Listen to it. According as His divine power hath given unto us. Listen, hath given. We already have it. Not will give. Not might give. Not that we need to beg for it. Hath given to us all things. Not some things. A double L. How much does that mean? What does all mean? It means all. Listen. According as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue. How many people do you know are living in glory and virtue? Not many. Because they have not appropriated what God has given us. By His divine power, He has given to us all things, all things that pertain unto life and glory. How many of you have all the love that you need? Don't lift your hand. How many of you have all the wisdom that you need? Don't lift your hand. How many of you have all of the strength that you need? How many of you have all the courage that you need? Don't lift your hand. How many of you have all the patience that you need? Don't lift your hand. Well, I submit to you, friend, that you do have all that you need. You say, if I have it, how come I don't have it? Uh, you don't have what you have because you haven't possessed your possessions. God has given it to you. And what you need to do is to possess what God has already given to you. Peter says, listen, His divine power, He has given us all things. All things. Not He will give, might give. He has given to us. He says, I don't understand that. What do you mean possess your possession? How many of you have books in your library you haven't read yet? Let me see your hands. Okay, are those your books? Yes. Have you possessed your possessions? No. You see, listen. We need to understand that we already have through the blood of Jesus Christ everything it takes to live the Christian life. I'm telling you there is a river of life flowing in us and now Jesus is speaking metaphorically. He's not talking literally. He's talking symbolically. He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. 